Hi, and welcome to this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm Todd Beardsley here at Rapid7. I am the security researcher, and you may have heard uh, we did a thing uh, earlier about uh, IoT security and specifically on a group of baby monitors uh, that was conducted um, by Mark Stanislav, and I helped write the report, and we're going to talk about it today. Um, so, uh, this is all under the category of hashtag IoT sec, um, and we're going to talk about the coming tsunami of IoT stuff. Um, the internet is expected to be host uh, to about 25 billion of these devices by 2020, which is only five years from now, from this recording, uh, which is weird for me. but. Um, that comes out to maybe three and a half to four devices for every human on Earth. Um, we are, we're no longer the dominant species. The dominant species are tiny computers uh, that look like other things. Um, and so what we did um, was take a look at a pile of these video baby monitors. Um, you know, they look kind of like this and they have different form factors and all that. Um, but they don't, you'll notice they don't look like computers. Um, and they also don't look like cars. Um, but they have lots of things in common with both. So uh, the, the deal is, is that uh, with the baby monitors, we found that it would be informative to take a look at that segment in particular to get a sense of like where IoT, Internet of Things security is at right now. Uh, and what we came out with uh, was a pile of vulnerabilities that you saw, um, some not so great practices, and um, we found that there was a lot of question marks around like, how are these built? Like, there, there's a lot of unknowns around like the supply chain that leads up to these devices. Um, so you end up with a, a bunch of different components. You might have different chips, uh, like system on a chips. Um, you have different operating systems that all basically boil down to uh, Linux kernels and sometimes VxWorks and other things. Um, and you have a lot of cloud, cloud services that the actual vendor of this device doesn't really have a whole lot of control over. We found that a lot too. Um, and this is exactly the same situation as you have in every other IoT thing. You see this in HVAC systems, you see it in thermostats, you see it in the refrigerators that turn out are <laughs> ratting out your Google and Facebook credentials for some reason. Um, you see it in cars, you see it in airplanes, you see it in, in, in basically any hunk of electronics um, that has like grafted onto it a uh, like a real computer. It may not have like a, a keyboard and monitor and stuff, but it is in fact a real computer uh, with a CPU. It's got a network stack. It's got a bunch of cloud back services, and they are everywhere. They are surrounding us. Um, we we live in this network now that that is just, and it's not. We're not there yet. Don't get me wrong. We're like seven billion, six billion right now devices uh, on on the internet that aren't like computer computers. Um, but this is, this is just growing, and it's growing exponentially. Like, who knows where it's going to be in 2025, say? Like, is it going to be 50? Is it going to be 100 million? Who knows? The, the, the other big question is, how do you patch these things when they're out in the field? Um, this is a, with the cloud-based services, you have kind of a straight shot there, and that's, that's good. Like, you have one, one spot to patch. Um, but when you have um, devices that have onboard vulnerabilities, and these might be vulnerabilities that are two or three or five years old, uh, by the time they get into your hand, because just the way the supply chain works, there's there's no like happy Windows update, right? There's no automatic reminder. It's like, hey, you've got this update. I'm going to go check. And that's uh, in in my mind, that's a massive problem because we found that people just don't patch unless you turn on some kind of automatic patching mechanism, and then that patching mechanism itself has to be safe and secure and reliable and all that. Um, so that's kind of the state where we're at now, is where we have this giant pile of devices um, that no one super knows how they're made, and we don't know how to patch them out when they're out in the field. And that's a bummer. <laughs> so we're going to um, bum each other out on Reddit uh, at a uh, IMA uh, question and answer with uh, me and Mark Stanislav, who did, again, like he did almost all of this research. Uh, I did very little on this. Um, and we're going to be answering questions on Twitter on the hashtag IoTSec. Uh, so that's it for this week's Whiteboard Wednesday, and we'll see you next week.